as far as I know, the American, African Americans, right. even though they are at the lowest right. rung in the socioeconomic ladder, right. they're still globally right. at something like the 30th richest nation in the world. Right. So, even though there's inequality, which right. is a problem because right. the Gini coefficient sure. is what is correlated right. the most with violence. Sure. Even though there's, there's that problem there, which is an right. extreme problem, I don't think that problem can be just pinned down to capitalism because I think almost any system or every single system ever produced produces a Pareto distribution, including Marxism. So, for example, in the Soviet Union, it's like we're all equal, but we're equal at pretty much zero. And then the government, the people right. that are in the right. government have the most wealth. Right. Yeah. So it's not as if we can just say capitalism, a consequence of capitalism mm -hmm. is the inequality. Right. And then the oppression that goes along with that. It's not as if that can be laid to capitalism, at least not in my eyes. So what do you? But what would you to lay that? it to then? I mean, I, I don't understand what you would lay uh, lay it to. I mean, well, uh, I mean, it's produ this, produ Yeah, it, the Pareto distribution governs right. any creative output. So, for example, right. ten percent of the trees in the forest right. get ninety percent of the, the light. Right. Right. Five percent of the stars have ninety-five right. percent of the mass. Right. So it's any creative output. Right. Anytime you have a system where there is creative right. output, right. there will be some people who are better right. naturally, right. or there will be some people who just get lucky, right. and it just that just is. That's almost a law of nature. So that's right. what I would say to that. But right. I want to know what you would say. You would say I, I want to. My make response sure is that you know, you know, whether or not we accept that there's not that Prado, the Prado pattern as you're yeah. describing, yeah, yeah. the optimal, yeah, yeah, which I'm familiar with, but but uh, you know, I haven't looked at it in many ages. But sure, sure, sure. but but uh, I understand what you're saying. You know, that the idea is basically that um, I, I would look at it this way: that um, is what you do about it. And why it's produced in, the, in in different circumstances that matter, right? That if we're human agents, we understand, you know, how it is. I mean, people die, people live. You say, well, p people die. Okay, let's just kill people. I mean, let's just, you know, not worry about health. I mean, they're die. You know what I mean? Ninety well, exactly, percent die. Exactly. It doesn't so mean it's I, fatalistic. It exactly. Mean it's just, exactly. Well, that exists. Let's not exactly. do anything about it. I think yeah, it's a dire it, problem. Exactly. So I'm it, not sure. Yeah. I'm not convinced. There's, but I'm not. I don't sure, know. I don't right. know much. Right. So that's why I'm here. You no, know, sure. I understand. I'm that, not but convinced I, that right. Marxism is the right. answer to right. solving the inequality gap. I mean, the the well, Marxism does inequality. The problem of inequality. Okay, Marxism per se is a form of analysis. It's a it's a logic. It's it's uh it, you know it's become a kind of complex of people with shared orientations coming out of Marx and Engels and and so on right through the the whole history since the nineteenth century right, um, but you know socialism. There's other things that in a sense try to address, of which Marx tried to Marx and Engels tried to also confront. How do we think about socialism and so on, but. That's more the issue in terms of how to address things, right? So if if if, if society naturally produces inequality, which is what you're arguing, all um, forms anything produces almost any yes all any system sure. that has output produces get, a some get more some which get is less inequality. Yeah. right yeah um, the the question is um, you know we're not supposed to just accept that no I mean that's, I the mean, whole difference of human agency is and and so is if right so I mean yes to go to some place natural context and some lions get more food and some don't, um, yeah. right? So they don't have the capacity to organize themselves socially. We do. We have an organized society we call civilization, whatever we, you know, political society and so on. They don't have that. They have a sort of natural uh, ways that they connect to each other. You could even call it society if you wanted, but it, it, it doesn't, it, there's not a constructed thing, a complex constructed thing that anything in any way rec is, is sort of reminiscent or uh, is similar to human society, right? So human society has that ability. So if we were to take things that come from nature and so on and allow it to be that way, to give it opportunity to manifest, right? Just like disease has vectors too. So we not deal with disease and say, well, this, this, yeah, okay, there's a flu and 15% will die automatically. Let's not worry about it. Let them, okay, so let's in, reduce the surface population and move on. So, so in other words, so, simply because it's natural doesn't mean we shouldn't try to tinker with it because we can yeah. benefit everybody. And, and then we, exactly, that we can't, and we can't, and there's and, and no reason why we can't address it, right? Okay. Because so of I, that, because you could argue anything is natural. In the 19th century, there were huge arguments that there's natural inequality. And there is a sort of natural inequality. I mean, I'm not denying natural inequality. Uh, nor would Marx have denied natural inequality. There are faster people. There are people who can calculate better, you know, and so on. They can see better. People that see better than me, I'm wearing glasses. I mean, we're, you, know, you don't have them. Maybe you have contacts. But we're naturally 
unequal in that category. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The world is full of that. It's a question of what you do with it, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that kind of inequality is inequality of outcome, mm -hmm. which is, you know, you know so how is or how society organized? Because you can see much better than me. Should you get a house that has heat in winter and I shouldn't because I couldn't see where to go and couldn't get there, right? So that would be the Pareto argument would say, no, you get, you, you just do the thing. You just follow the natural pattern, right? You don't organize society. No, uh, what, what I was saying is, what I was saying is the inequality cannot be right. laid to capitalism, cannot be, you can't just lay that at the feet of capitalism, the fact right. that there's inequality. Okay. I have a response to is, that. Yeah. Now there is something that we can do about right. inequality. Right. What can we do? I don't right. actually know. But obviously we can right. remedy, and we must remedy it at some point because it's just going to get too right. extreme and then there's going right. to be, the Gini coefficient is mm -hmm. going to collapse mm -hmm. the whole society. Sure. Maybe that's what Marx is saying is that it goes from slavery to feudalism right. to capitalism to communism. Oh, sorry, Marxism. I would say socialism. To socialism. 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 Right. And then... Right. Question mark and then utopia somehow, but I don't, right. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm straw man right. Marx, and I don't yeah, want to yeah. do no, that. No, I, don't no, to... I understand what you're saying there, but I would say that um, capitalism. I would understand it this way: capitalism d produces, accentuates, develops inequality. You know, putting the Pareto aside, it by definition does that because right away you have a separation between the you worker. Know, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah. So it, it accentuates. So it's any it, what form it takes. Just like the Nazis did it also. You mentioned the Soviet Union, you know, the Soviet Union, and Stalin did it in his way, Miles, right? China. Whatever, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's, and there were efforts to undo it. That's the thing, right? So you can start from there and things could come undermined. There is a natural tendency for things to concentrate. I, I understand what you're yeah, saying, yeah. but capitalism, the problem is capitalism is particularly powerful, a particular powerful form for that development okay, okay. And, uh, and damaging and that's where it comes in, right? So, yeah. and then it does not offer any antidote uh, to it. It's not, you know, it, it, it's, it's basically not interested. And even if it gives some better, because we have a lot of people who are now making arguments about uh, why um, the, uh, um, you know, let's say uh, workers are much better off, the average person is much better off today than they were 200 years ago, mm -hmm. which no one would deny. Mm -hmm. And no one, Marx had denied that, Even right? Yeah, he recognized ago, yeah. that. Yeah, whatever, you know, you're familiar with some of this work. Uh, uh, Donna McClowski's someone who's, you know, been writing on that, you know, a lot. However, yeah, but even so, that's resting on a global context of incredible exploitation, imperialism, and there are lots of people, large numbers, even within, let's say, North America, and even Europe, who are suffering. Mm -hmm.